Okay, so we're still talking about guide tubes here. Um, got two different machines we're looking at. Uh, they both happen to be maker bots. This is a, a Rep 1. The, the Rep 1 has a guide tube that's mounted directly against the back of the machine, and uh, the filament spool is mounted kind of off, offset just a little bit and lower. So the, the filament comes off of the spool, feeds up through the guide tube, and, and down to the, the print head. Uh, the nice thing about this design is that the guide tube just goes through a 180 degree arc at a pretty large radius, so it doesn't generate a lot of drag. You can get a little bit of initial drag from the fact that the guide tube is mounted against the back of the printer. If you move the mount so that it's offset a little bit, then the filament will feed a little easier. And you can also break the edge, you know, um, take something to, to get rid of the sharp edge at the entrance of the guide tube, and that'll allow filament to, to feed into it a little bit easier. So looking at the Gen 5, they went to a different design with the guide tube here. It's a little smaller diameter, and um, it goes through a sharp bend. As with the filament mounted here, it comes, feeds up through, and then bends 90 degrees at a very small radius. And then during a print, this guide tube is going to move uh, through the, the build volume, and uh, you can see that the, the tube sweeps out almost a 360 degree arc. So this machine has a lot more drag um, in the, the filament path than the original Rep 1. We'll look at a couple more machines um, before we move on from guide tubes here.